I have made videos in the past explaining certain settings that all Windows users should change. By far the one I get the most comments about is changing from a Microsoft login to a local user login. Now I have entertained the comments and there are definitely some Microsoft lovers out there, but I have always stood firm and addressed all these comments with rational responses. Today I'm going to address all these benefits that everybody screams and yells about in the comments and then let you decide whether I'm right or wrong. Let's get into it. Now first, I'm not saying don't create a Microsoft account. Although there are a few ways around it, the standard setup for a new Windows user is to either log in with or to create a Microsoft account. If you don't know how to bypass that, you just create the account and log in. But what I'm saying is, is that you don't have to keep using that Microsoft account on your personal machine. I simply recommend creating a local account and using that instead. And I'm gonna lay out all the reasons for and against it. So there are a lot of people that argue for using a Microsoft account for your daily login. They make the argument that because you're using your Microsoft account, everything is automatically backed up for you to the Microsoft server and that they can seamlessly transfer their data from one machine to the next. Yeah, that's true. But here's a few things to keep in mind. First of all, you're limited to five gigabytes across all the Microsoft platforms. That includes OneDrive, all your Microsoft apps, all your personal data, Microsoft Outlook attachments, all of that stuff, five gigabytes. If you go over that, Microsoft will absolutely sell you more space. In my opinion, why not use that money for something that doesn't invade your privacy, like Carbonite, as an example. Backs everything up to the cloud, just like with Microsoft, but the difference is, is nobody ever actually looks at your data and there's no privacy violations. In my opinion, that's money better spent. If you've got tons and tons of photos or music or videos, you're definitely going to go over that limit. So why not spend that money wiser with something like Carbonite, for example. Now, the one advantage that I would say for a Microsoft account is that using it as your default login, it does a decent job of backing up everything automatically using OneDrive and also restoring your settings if that's the case. But if you're somebody who maybe doesn't replace their computer every couple years, maybe every four or five, six years, is it really that important to have all of your settings transferred over? It's entirely possible that by the time you need a new computer, you're going to have a different operating system that may require different settings. So to me, that's not a huge advantage, but it is still helpful. I'll give Microsoft that. Secondly, if your Microsoft account is ever compromised, hacked, or stolen, good luck getting it reset. There is a built-in tool to recover your password, but in my experience, I've seen many, many times where people have tried to reset the password, and because of fraudulent activity, Microsoft doesn't automatically reset it for you. They put it under review. And basically what that means is you can't log into your computer until Microsoft gives you permission. So here's some actual advantages to using a Microsoft account for your daily login. But when you hear my biggest argument against it, I think you'll realize that the advantages are not so advantageous after all. So number one, the ease of data backup and settings transferring over to a new machine is actually a pretty decent one. That's probably the one thing about Microsoft accounts that I actually think is a good thing. They make it very simple when you log in, everything just transfers over, including your wallpaper and all your personal settings. That is an advantage. But as I said before, these are just personal settings. These are things that could be changed on a new machine in just a couple minutes for even the most average user. But if you want the absolute in simplicity and you are a very, very basic user, this might be advantageous for you. Now, that is the one advantage that you have to using a Microsoft account to log into your computer. Now, a lot of people argue that you have to use your Microsoft account to do Office 365 and Microsoft OneDrive and all those other things. I have a local account on my computer as well as a Microsoft account that I had when I first set up the computer, but I don't use the Microsoft account. I can still access all of those things with my local account. I just have to log in when I'm prompted, but that's it. I get to use all the Microsoft tools like OneDrive, Microsoft Edge, Office 365, Skype, all of that stuff. I can do all of that with the existing account I created, but I'm not using it as my active login. Another big misconception is that you have to be using a Microsoft login to access Microsoft apps in the store. Also not true. You just have to log in with your Microsoft account, but you can still do that on a local machine. Another thing people say is that you have to be logged into your Microsoft account to easily reset your password online. Also not true. 
with a local account, you can go to Microsoft's website, you can log in, click on forgot password and reset it right there. You don't have to be logged in to Microsoft to do that. Another thing people say is that you have to be logged in with your Microsoft account on your computer to use Cortana. Well, that's also not true. You can use Cortana with a local account, but according to Microsoft, it's a limited user experience. To me, what that says is that Microsoft can't gather all the data about you that they would like, so they're going to limit what you can do. But most people just use it for search anyway. What's the difference? Now, maybe one other advantage that I see using a Microsoft account, which by the way, they kind of force you to do now anyway, is that it automatically activates your new computer. Yeah, that's true. But since you have to use a Microsoft account to log into your computer, that's really a no brainer anyway. It's gonna automatically activate. Once you log in with Microsoft, create your local account, your machine is still activated. Just don't use your Microsoft account to log in. And one of the other things that I hear all the time is about the Windows Insider program. You have to log into your computer with Microsoft to be part of the Insider program. Also not true. I use a local account on my computer and I'm in the Windows Insider program. Yes, I had to log in to the Insider program with my Microsoft account, but it doesn't control my computer. Big difference. Now that we got all that out of the way, here are the disadvantages to using a Microsoft account to log into your computer. And I'm saving the best for last. I promise you it's gonna piss you off. First and foremost, it's your computer. Why should you have to log into a multi-billion dollar conglomerate just to have permission to use a machine that you paid for? That's ridiculous and it's unsafe. So as I mentioned before, forgotten passwords are not easily recovered. Most people use a four to six digit pin to log into their computer and they don't ever use their Microsoft password. So if for some reason that password gets lost, hacked, or stolen, you have to go through the recovery process and it doesn't always work. Now, one of the biggest issues I have with using a Microsoft account to log into your computer is privacy. Microsoft already harvests a ton of data on you. And if you use a Microsoft account to log into your computer, every single thing you do is being tracked and possibly even sold to third parties. Not to mention that any personal files you have on your computer that are being backed up conveniently to the Microsoft server, how long do you think it would take for some three letter agency to get a subpoena for those records from Microsoft? If you use a local account, Microsoft never sees that data. It stays on your computer. So your personal habits are yours and yours alone. Microsoft can't touch it. The other major issue that I have with using a Microsoft account to log into your computer is simply security. If someone were to guess your password and you have your files backed up to your Microsoft server, everything you have on your computer that you've backed up is now available to view, edit, delete, whatever. Not to mention if someone gets your Microsoft password, they now have access to your Microsoft account, which has your personal information, your name, your birth date, your credit card information, your address, your phone number, all of that stuff. One hack, one password breach, all it takes. And most likely you'll never even know that someone got your data until it's already gone. You'll have to wait for Microsoft to set a notification that your account has been compromised. Do you really wanna do that? If you use a local account to log into your computer, the only way anyone's ever gonna get that is because you possibly downloaded some malware or a virus that somehow allowed somebody to access that data. But if you are a safe, conservative user and just use your computer daily to do the same five or six things, the likelihood of that ever happening is almost zero. And the last thing on my list and the thing that I argue vehemently about when people tell me that Microsoft accounts are the way to go is BitLocker. What is BitLocker? According to Microsoft, BitLocker is a Windows disk encryption feature designed to protect your data by providing encryption for entire volumes. BitLocker addresses the threats of data theft or exposure from lost, stolen, or inappropriately decommissioned devices. Yeah, on paper, that sounds great. An extra layer of security is great in case the laptop gets stolen or misplaced. But according to Microsoft, it only works on pro and enterprise versions of Windows, but that's not true. This is a computer that I picked up from a client. As you can see, her computer has been BitLock encrypted. Now, the problem with that is that when she first set up her computer, she was never told about BitLocker. She was never told she needed to save her 48 digit recovery key. All you are told if you ever see this screen is that you can log into your Microsoft account and recover your key. Okay, fine. Well, I did that for her. I got her recovery key. Guess what? It didn't work. 
Now, I approached Microsoft with this in one of their forums, and according to them, it only works on Windows Pro. Now, this machine was a Windows 10 Home Edition. According to Microsoft, that's not possible. So I showed them. This is a Windows 10 Home Machine, not a Pro. I looked up the specs on the machine and verified that it did come with Windows 10 Home Edition. And Microsoft's answer to the problem? Just wipe and reinstall Windows. Not, we're sorry about everything that you had on your computer is gone. We're sorry we didn't tell you about the encryption. We're sorry we didn't tell you how to recover your key that you didn't even know you were supposed to have. And, you know, too bad, so sad. What kind of crap is that? Oh, and the other thing is that BitLocker apparently only works when you use a Microsoft account login on your computer. It absolutely won't work on a local account. That alone seals the deal for me. Microsoft needs to stay out of our computers and stay out of our lives as much as possible. Now, unfortunately for my client, the only option I had was to wipe the computer and reinstall Windows. There was zero chance of recovery. Even if you delete that encrypted partition, recovery tools will not be able to see those files because they're encrypted. If you see this screen because you use a Microsoft account login, you literally are dead in the water. I get clients all the time asking me what to do about the BitLocker and I tell them, I said, if your key doesn't work, I hope you have a backup because you just lost everything. Thanks, Microsoft. So in summary, if you don't care about synchronization across multiple machines and multiple platforms, and you really only access data from one location, there is absolutely zero reason for you to use a Microsoft account login for your daily computer usage. It's just, it doesn't make sense. I've been using a local account for years. I've never needed to continue using a Microsoft account, and I've been able to do everything I need to do with my Microsoft login without using it to log in to my computer. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are using a Microsoft account login, I would highly recommend you switch it to a local account. You can watch this video right here and I show you exactly how to do that. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below.